Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my uh, probably third part in my part deal let's play. So last time we left off we conquered one province but, but, but we're about to be flanked on both sides by this guy the wanderers of the vast steppe and the wayward warriors. So soon we're going to be double penetrated but that's okay because we will defend to the last man and we'll be able to sneakily take a city under his nose. Well, that happens, which is good. Now, I know someone said that my economy is shit. Yes, it is. That's why I'm banking on these provinces right now. And then, because of the fact that we can't really invade these territories, I'm just then going to start rebuilding my economy from the ground up. Which is why I took administrative at the start, because I knew that I would be uh, conducting early warfare at the very start of the game, and I should really go for some kind of economic buildup afterwards. So I'm merely just letting myself in this situation, and then once I improve my conquests overall on these guys and end these conquests, then I'll just like rebuild my economy from the ground up. So it's pretty much A-OK. -okay. Anyway, unrest is in that city. Okay. Completely fine. Alright. Well, it's end of turn. And let's try to kick some ass and chew some bubblegum. God, I've had some really large mosquito bites in my life, but this one definitely kick, takes the cake. Holy crap. Ugh, itch, itch, itch. Alright, seems like they're not going to attack me. That's a little bit strange. A little bit strange, just to, uh, to say the least. Whatever. They also backed off from attacking the city, so I think they know I'm coming. And if that's the case, time to come in. Alright, so let's see, we've discovered a technology, that's good. Okay, now we have a lot more wealth coming in, that's A-OK. -okay. And now we have the Eastern Bazaar. And we can probably go for a seeding plow, uh, plow, oh, sorry. We can probably go for a seeding plow to get the entire tree. Alright, let's move forward and try to attack the city. Korosami. Yeah, I understand I'm passing through Korosami territory, but... It's something I can really stop. Alright, it's a city battle. Let's go! Oh, declare war? Wait, who owns this? I was at war with you, wasn't I? Hold on a sec. This is weird. I declare war on you. Amulet? What? Sorcery? That's weird. Huh. Did someone conquer this territory? Yes, yeah, someone did. Holy crap, so while I was away playing around with, you know, these guys, apparently someone came down and conquered this territory, but he is sieging it, so that's one thing. Oh, no, no, wait, he's not even sieging it. Okay, so what should I do? Should I just declare war on this guy and then conquer his lands? I mean, how many lands does he have? He only has two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a little bit confused. I am a little bit tired, after all. Okay. He has this entire province. Right. And these two cities. Should I declare war on him? Well, we do outnumber him. And we have to get through somehow. I mean, we just can't, like... Have this little jumble of mess, so yeah, why not? Let's declare war. Yeah, I know I'm not the big strong person when it comes to diplomacy and stuff like that, but I want to conquer. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Wanderers of the vast step. Look at your horse archers. Do you see my party and swag? Can I all resolve this assault? Encircle. Ooh, I like encircling. Okay, let's encircle the settlement and try to get them out of the city. We'll probably leave the city, actually, if we wanted to with this force. Actually, hold on. We should actually recruit some units, get some eastern spearmen. And we could probably then afterwards get some merc. Oh, we can't? Okay. In fact, hold on. Let's cancel this. Let's get a merc party in, horse archer, and another one. And that's it. Do believe. Let's see what's happening in our main city. 
Nothing really. We can't convert. We can't upgrade, which does suck. We could upgrade to a farm. I do like that prop uh, proposition. And our economy is definitely not bad, but it's definitely struggling here. Let's see. Hellenistic Hamlet. Farm. But everybody's unhappy, so we can't really use it. Alright, we're going to have to deal with that later, but right now, more important things are at hand. He has only step horse archers. I could just invade him. You know what? Yeah, well, why don't we just do that? Why did I encircle him? I guess for the sake of, of encircling, rather than trying to take the settlement by force, you could try waiting them out. It will surrender. No point. He has a good amount of forces here. He's probably going to attack me. The truth of Mitra versus the wanderers of the vast steppe. Let us go. He does outnumber me in horses, but keep in mind, I do have cataphracts and I have spearmen. And once we get our hands on these horse archers, it's over. Can't believe it's the Battle of the Horse Archers, the Battle of Amul, the Horse Archer Battle. Wahaha. Alright, let's see. Wait a battle. Wait a battle. Wait a battle. Oh goody, everything's shit. Why did I just pick dry? Why am I such a masochist? Whatever, let's put this median cav over here. Then we'll have four lines of Persian Eastern Spearmen. We'll bring each uh, army group three Parthian horse archers. And these guys can have five Parthian horse archers, because why not? So here, here's my cav group. And here is my main infantry line. And we have this guy. Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, we should... Include him too. Alright, I think that's good. Hold on, I think I might want to get switch over to Flaming Shot. Can I be used in Wet Wetter? Can I use it here? I do believe I can. Okay. I can't use Persistent Shot, which does suck. So let's use Flaming Arrows. Because we do have the opportunity to do so. Uh, whistling shot, melee attack, shots per causes less damage, but ah, morale penalties. Let's go with that. That should be really interesting. All right, charge forward. We don't really need to worry about anything just yet. Here comes a massive force of horse archers, so we just need to run over there and annihilate them. Alright, you guys can go over there while well, we have this group kind of go around. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, these are the Easter Spear Spearmen, okay. Alright, oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't melee, just fire. And then we can fire at these guys. Holy crap, this is going to be an awesome battle. You can already see it right now. It's just a massive horse archer exchange. It's the battle of the horse archers. Charge, charge, I say. Good God, we're pelting them on two different sides, and we're having these eastern spearmen come in. Here, let's bring in the median cavalry, actually, just to help out. And you can go over here. Actually, no, 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 no. You fire at these guys. We have a continuous barrage right now of... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, my general is not helping me. My general is definitely not helping me. Gotta go over and switch over to flame shots so my units don't get any penalties in morale. Okay, good. So note to self, guys. Don't use whistling arrows while your troops are in melee combat. So, the combination of Eastern Spearmen plus Flaming Arrows equals death for all these units. 
And over here, we're annihilating, annihilating them with our median cavalry, which is good. Of course it is. I am Master Rolf in this, after all. Alright, let's keep charging in. We could probably go ahead and hit them from the flanks over here with this median cav group, which would be awesome. And we can go ahead and target this one horse archer unit because it just kind of over here just stuck doing nothing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, some parts of my men are wavering a bit. But that's okay because I expected that considering our last um, campaign battle that we played was pretty bad against the AI. And my men had shit morale. So I expected this. But whatever, that was a pretty good display of Persian dominance right now, guys. We were able to destroy them with the might of our horse archers. We learned another thing in this battle. Oh, wait, I have to quit the battle. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Alright, so another city is under our control. And we have an, a ton of um, provinces and military units right now. So we're definitely storming on ahead. Our economy is going to be down in the dumps for a while. But that's okay. Because the blood on our sword will solidify our hold on this land. No, I'd rather occupy. Let people think I'm awesome. Alright, so let's see. General ranking. I'd rather you get... Let's get... Let you, let's let you have warrior. Why not? I, I want to see what happens. It's not available to your faction. You have to convert it to one of your own buildings before you upgrade it. Ah, I see. That sucks. 